this thing is oh, that's half full. Welcome back to the tool trailer. So I got a call if to fix an outlet. Two outlets at a rental house. Um, I've been working for this property manager for years and they have called me in the past to fix the exact same outlets. <clears throat> they don't remember though. Um, so it's the garage outlet and the back patio outlet. Um, so if you aren't familiar, in uh, relatively new home construction, uh, your exterior outlets, your garage outlets, your bathroom outlets, the, the outlets in the kitchen are all going to be uh, GFI protected. And what that means is there is one GFI outlet, a, little, a plug with two buttons on it, a, a test and a reset that will control a whole series of plugs that look just like a regular plug. And I just I happen to know, because they called me to do this before, that the GFI outlet that controls the garage is in the master um, uh, bathroom. It's in the master bathroom. Now, this could be another one of those jobs. I just had one yesterday. It was 500 bucks for about 15 minutes of work. I'm going to actually get my, my outlet tester here. Um, what's, what's funny is the property manager and the husband that is not here have taken the outlet apart in the garage. Um, completely unnecessary. So I got to put that back together and I think all I got to do is push a button, collect $500 and uh, go to the next one. But this is uh, something that um, it should be common knowledge to people who own a house or, or any adult <laughs> uh, what GFI outlets are and how they work. And it's not just the one with the buttons is the only one that per that's protected. There's a whole series of them that are protected from that one outlet. So let's go put this outlet back together. I'm going to test the one in the back, uh, back patio. And the first place I'm going is that master bedroom and hopefully I just push the button and that's all the troubleshooting I have to do. It'll look the part, you know? Can't just go in there pushing buttons. It'll look like you're, you're doing some work. First thing is to see if there's so there's no power to this outlet. Standard new construction outlet. off. I wonder if the front door one is off too. Nothing there. Oh, Jesus. There's four Pomeranians in there. My legs are sticky. I'm getting licked. All right, front one is also out. So we've got both exterior GFI outlets and the garage outlet out. All right, let's go to the master, see if that button's tripped. All right, there it is. Reset, boom, check that out. Okay, 
for some reason this is upside down but just hit the reset button there and watch the tab push the test button click reset now we'll go down to the garage in the front and backyard and check those outlets see lights do we see lights yes this isn't very actually what I'll do is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna trip this uh, pull this out put some Buchanan's behind the screws uh, so that we don't have this action here so you may be wondering what are Buchanan's Buchanan's are little copper crimps that you use to uh, crimp your grounds together but they also work perfectly uh, for this situation here is a spacer uh, so that you don't have this spring-loaded outlet. So now that I've diagnosed this problem here I'm going to replace this outlet. The uh, plastic on the bottom ground there is broke out. The property manager he's going to be like what in the heck did you do? How'd you fix it so quick? Because he and the, the DIY or renter had no idea how to fix this. I'll probably have to let my secret out. I think the last time they asked me, I said, I can't tell you, it's a trade secret. <laughs> As a joke. Um, but the previous renter also had a, a fridge and freezer system hooked up to this outlet. And I was here doing some other work. I also work on a couple houses down the street, so I'm always in this neighborhood. Um, and he figured out that this was uh, going to be tripping with his free freezer and stuff on here. So he hooked up a uh, some extension cords, an elaborate array of extension cords from, I don't know where, where else he got them, so that the breakers would not trip, or the, uh, the GFI outlets rather, would not trip. Black to brass, white to bright, green to brown. Still can't get over this. This is very common. Uh, and it's one of my most common uh, money makers is resetting GFIs. This really opens up my day. I got a little bit behind on another project across town. Heading there next. I'm going to get so much done today because of this. I did budget a full half day of time to diagnose this. But I knew when they called me and they, they told me that it was this outlet. I was like, uh, I think that's a GFI. This box is recessed quite a ways in from the drywall cutout. We take our Buchanan's. These are meant to crimp the grounds. And we use those as spacers. Put those right behind the screw and screw it in. Outlet covers back on. I'll plug their fridge back in, push it back into place, go reset that GFI, uh, test all three outlets one last time, and that's it. All right, we're at the backyard back porch outlets all right we got all lights yeah, we'll test the bottom one too long time ago i did a video on replacing that hose bib there because someone uh, was filling up the hot tub in the winter time and left the hose hooked up and froze the uh the anti-freeze hose bib but when there's a hose hooked up to it It'll freeze. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Okay, one last check. Oh man, boom there. Hey, look at this. I did all, all three, all four of those pillars. Yeah, looking nice. Holding up perfect. Guy must know what he's doing. All right, that was the impossible one day project. And I didn't get it one day. I, for some reason, I thought I could tear off the old posts and rebuild four new posts, cock everything in, paint them. Cutting around that was a pain in the butt. But it took a day and a half.
Well, I dragged that out long as I could. Um, so, that's it. Hopefully it saves you some money. Check all your GFI outlets to make sure that button, it's different colors on different ones, but the reset button is pushed all the way in. One of them says test, one of them says reset. That's gonna be um, most likely your problem. Once in a while you'll have a GFI outlet that uh, is worn out and you just need to replace the GFI outlet. Yeah, it's created so much extra time in my day. Maybe I'll go put this thing in. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. If you are curious to the method of my madness and how I run this business and why I charge what I charge, who I charge, what I charge to, um, there's a link in the description to the Handyman Business. It's another YouTube channel. Uh, it's only got about 8,000 followers. Uh, has a good community of guys that are in this business. And we discuss how to make a living uh, doing home services. A lot of the larger projects, I do a separate video on that other channel discussing uh, how the, the customer found me. Uh, all the way through the, the bid process, uh, any obstacles that came up along the way, uh, payment, things like that. So if you're interested um, in this this thing I keep saying, uh, collect $500. It's kind of my minimum charge now. Um, it, and it does depend on the customer and the job. So uh, we get into more, get into that more on the other channel. So go check it out.